And back this week are the dudes. We've got Terry in New York. Hey guys, how you doing? Nice to see you. We've got Matt in California. Hello everybody. We've got John in the UK. Hello, token Brit in the pub, hi. Um, <laughs> from the pub, Jake is broadcasting from Texas. Airborne, beach your boats. And Tom's in Arizona. Right on. Start this. So guys, how, how fun was it ruining Terry's vacation? Yeah. <laughs> that was a blast. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> Which makes us want to do it again. It right. worked out great for us, Terry. Everybody loves to see your massively tattooed back running down the hallway. <laughs> and by the way, guys, let me just say this. It was cold that day. <laughs> the journey to the airport was interesting. Tell me about that. <laughs> the best part was when we put the, when we got the hood back on you, and yeah. the and the big airliner went by in the background. <laughs> <laughs> what were those people that I, I couldn't see? But what the heck they must have thought? Like you guys rousted some like drug guy or something? Or I, I don't know, but they had their faces plastered to the side of the airplane, <laughs> and, and I was laughing because it just reminded me of how cool it was to do bad things. <laughs> <laughs> we're sort of a we're sort of a sketchy looking group at best, and so with me standing there with a black hood. Put on and you and you and you and you jerks standing all around me, all geared up. People probably were thinking maybe we shouldn't uh, vacation here. <laughs> but Terry, you've jumped out of planes before. What was different about this? I think I had no guns, I had no rucksack, and I actually didn't know what I was landing in. I mean, I looked down, I saw it was water, but I didn't know. You know, I had no orientation. Usually, if we draw, uh, not usually, when I jump somewhere, whether it's free fall or static line, I know the drop zone. I know, I at least know where I'm supposed to go. I didn't know where I was supposed to go. I just I, thought, all right, you're I just supposed to go in the drink, Terry. That, that was it. You made the mark. You know, the life raft, that was a pretty funny touch, uh, you know, but it was, the life raft was a, that was a miserable night, man. I was, I was, I couldn't, I could not yeah. get warm. Yeah, you know, I couldn't get warm. That, that Hardest like place to survive, one. Terry. Yeah, how dangerous yeah. was that exactly? Uh, that was you very know, dangerous. Yeah, I mean, you guys tell me. What did you think, man, when you dropped me down there? Were you worried? No, you weren't. I was genuinely <laughs> worried about you once you got wet. We saw how wet you were with that wind whipping through there. Yeah, that, that yeah. was bad. It was bad. Hey, hey, Shep, I got a question for you. Did you use your helmet to bail the boat out? I used the liner. I took the steel pot off. Because if, if people can see, there was a steel pot, which is like the old World War II style in Vietnam, and it has a liner inside. The liner's made out of like, I don't know, it's like a, it's kind of plastic and weave in it, but it's not. This, this is actually a helmet liner right here. Yeah, there you go. Cameraman's Diary said, I knew I was okay wearing a wetsuit, but Terry was going to be in major trouble. I don't know how he yeah. survived the night. Once the sun went down, it was the worst. Terry went into yeah. shock, shaking uncontrollably. The cold water was sucking the life out of both of us. The rocking of the boat continued to be paralyzing, and once we lost sight of the horizon, it was absolutely terrible. The worst. It was definitely bad, you know? Terry, you don't, you don't have to sell me on how bad it was, because I couldn't watch the screen, because I was getting seasick watching yeah. it. <laughs> Yo, that's, by the way, here's another thing the audience may not know, that Jake, Jake Swag, been around the world, a Navy guy, a Navy SEAL. Jake, Jake, Jake actually has to always ride in the front seat because the bastard gets seasick. He gets very <laughs> sick. It's awful. It's awful. And on it's some awful. of those boats, we've done some other boat stuff. Jake can look at me and he has that really weird burp where he goes like this. I'm like the wet one. I'm like Jake, stick your face over the side of the other way. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that was it was pretty bad. You know, it's the game, and I knew it would end uh, good or bad in about three or four days. But that first night was <laughs> that was that was humbling. All of us like to get some control over our over our destiny, and you have no control over your destiny when you're sitting in a little life yeah. raft at the mercy of the ocean. So like that was the kind of it was kind of demoralizing because the wind the wind wouldn't stop. The waves are just kicking my butt. And I was just like, man, at some point I just kind of gave up, curled up, and just hoped the next day would, wouldn't suck as bad. What is it that you do again, Terry? What do you mean? What do I do? You keep, keep us free? Is that – what do you do? I keep, I keep you free and I kick ass for America. That's I just want to – I want to make sure we all knew that again. Just want to make sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, Jake, you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you, Terry. All right. So, Terry, the high point may be when you're seeing land for the first time after being in that boat trapped for – an entire night. Talk about that. Yeah, I mean, I woke up. I, you know how 
I don't really think I slept particularly well. I, I just kind of, you kind of yeah. shut down. I wait, you know how to deal, guys. You wake up, you're like, oh, crap, and then you kind of curl back up. Uh, it wasn't like I could go, you know, going to the bathroom was no problem. Uh, but uh, <laughs> that was kind of easy. Uh, I don't even think I, I don't even think I went over the side. I think I just peed on myself. And then uh, it was warm. It was warm. And then um, <laughs> the big kidding. thing. I don't don't waste any of that heat. First no, one, I'm not, rule no, of seal I'm, training. No, don't exactly, waste any I, of that heat. No, I, I just I just kind of I just kind of let it surround me for a couple minutes and thought, uh, not so bad. I bet, I bet the cameraman <laughs> liked that too. The little pool of heat. He's, he's Mike, learning this now. Mike, yeah, Mike, I don't think. I, by the way, I don't think I told Mike that. So. <laughs> you know, he probably he probably thought, oh man, we just hit a weird jellyfish patch or something. Sure. Yeah. But it no, yeah, it, de- it it definitely was cool because I woke up and the sun was kind of coming up, and I thought, man, how how long am I gonna get to have to do this crap? And then uh, and then I saw that little bit of land and it worked out pretty good. I was like, I'm so ready to get out of that damn uh, boat life raft that I jumped out and I was probably up to I think at the beginning like chest deep water. And I'm like, you know, F it. We're walking it in. But, man, when I got on that beach and stood out of the water and just let the sun hit me, man, that was glorious. That really was a good good moment. Yeah, the cameraman said that seeing land the next day was like a reprieve from a death sentence. (laughs) Well, that's that's Mike being poetic, and he's probably right. It's it's sure – I'll say this. It sure sure did feel good. It was probably because of all the pee in the life raft. But he didn't. He He's didn't even been know. That since he, left he didn't know. He never knew anything about it. But yeah, yeah it was. It's a good moment when you see. It's kind of like any sort of crappy military exercise when you're. Always when the sun comes up, you kind of are filled with a little bit of hope. Now, do you think you came closer to um, dehydration or hypothermia? What do you think was your biggest battle out there? I think, you know, I, I know my vest said, uh, I know my, my, uh, my, my monitoring device said I was really close to hypothermia. I mean, we say 96.6. That's really not medical hypothermia. The reason we've decided in the game to say that is because it's close. And we realize that if it gets close, it might take us some time to get in there and evac you. You know what I mean? So if we wait till you get to real hypothermia, it actually could be too late. So I, yeah. I listen, yeah. I, right, guys? I mean, so we, yeah. we kind of yeah. all came up with that and like, hey, listen, you know, we're not going to wait till you get to medical hypothermia because that's now a medical emergency. Yeah, and it's you, too late. You, yeah, I'd have effing refused. If you guys came and tried to pick me up and said you're DQ, because I, I would <laughs> no, I would have, you, I would have fought you that. No, 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 no. I, I, I was cold. Uh, I was cold going in and I was cold going out. Uh, but I was able to function. You know, it just wasn't any fun. The dehydration was, was is, for me, was the real world, real world problem. I would have just got out on the beach chair and started doing a rain dance. <laughs> we, we were thinking about planting a coconut tree for you on that island, but you just yeah, yeah, Sorry, yeah, Terry. but you did. Yeah, but you didn't. But Terry, you didn't. Terry, I was trying to get him to put a You're gallon right. of water in your survival kit. No, you weren't. No, you weren't, Jake. No, you weren't. I saw the show, dude. Dude, Jake, 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 let's just shut up because because I saw the show and I saw what you what you dicks said. <laughs> and you said, I think we gave him too much. This is, what is this, Christmas? Blah, 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 blah. So for you to actually sit here on national inter- interweb and say that you, that you would have given me a gallon of water, you are a liar. You wish, you, yo, no, 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 I don't believe you for a minute, bro. Harry, do you remember what you named your raft? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it, was, it was the SSFU. <laughs> <laughs> Would you oh, have no, done no, anything no. differently? No. I, would I would I have done something differently had I been shot down in the Pacific on, on a mission and, and I you know I, I would hope that the Americans were coming to get me? I wouldn't have gotten in a raft and, and tried that because I'd have probably died. But no, I don't regret building a raft. I, I know I've seen the show now, and you guys were pro- you guys were all thinking you guys were slagging on me, understandably so. Like, what is he doing? But then. Yeah, man, you gotta. It's the game. There's no way I'm gonna lose to you clowns. There's and no that's way. The bit, that's the bit I was thinking, mate. Is there's no way in real world you'd build a raft, but it is the game. And one thing right. that we were saying at the time is that's you, mate. It's death or glory. Death Love or glory, course. man. Death yeah. or glory. <laughs> hey, Terry, I got I gotta back you up on that because there ain't no way I'm getting in a hot spring if it ain't for style points in the middle of a blizzard. Exactly. <laughs> right. Exactly. There's no way that there's no way that your big walrus ass is getting in a speedo. <laughs> 
unless you know, unless you know, unless you know, so, we're gonna give a, unless we're gonna really give you a lot of respect, which we do for doing that. Stop saying about that, Terry. The images are coming back. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like the, it's sort of like the dirt you can't wash off, guys. I'm just gonna say I had to watch somebody slaughter a hog to get that vision of Jake and a speedo out of my mind. <laughs> It still didn't work, man. <laughs> and it still didn't work. And it still didn't work. I still, still see work. it. It's horrible. It's it still didn't. There's nothing. We will never. That's never going to go away, dude. We're going to die yeah. with that with that image. Now, you guys are all having fun back at base camp. How yeah. partying, hanging out, Terry suffering. Do you feel guilty about that at all? No. No, no, no Julie. It's, <laughs> no. it's two on, two off. When it's our two off, we go two off. <laughs> No, that's that's why when I saw the show and I saw that uh, I saw that Matt and Hudson were paddle boarding, I wanted to freaking kill them. You guys make a very cute nautical couple. <laughs> Line of stern, mate, always. So, Terry, how did you feel? You're floating forever. You see, you hear the boat. Did you know it was the guys? Oh no, not at all. Because there was there there were several boats uh, that were actually that had gone by, and I was actually getting kind of pissed. I was like, "What kind yeah. of people live here that are not going to pick up?" Some, some, I mean, like honestly, I'm like, really? I mean, I'm waving a paddle. Like, if I was in a boat, I'd at least come see what was going on. So, a few. You were hard to the, see, though, mate. You were hard to see. Yeah, quite low in the yeah, water. very hard. Yeah. Well, you're right. Like, I think I'm hugely visible because you know I'm a giant. Because you're Terry Shepard. Right, exactly. So <laughs> I, I thought my personality would buoy me up. It did. Uh, <laughs> it did stand it up. But uh, yeah, yeah, man. The, the, the paddle I thought was very visible. So I was actually getting kind of pissed. I was like, this isn't gonna work. No one, no one's gonna. And then all of a sudden, you know, as they got closer, I heard. I think actually I heard Jake. <laughs> <laughs> And then I heard all these, all these, all these jerks laughing and yelling. And, yeah, I felt elation when I heard you guys. And, and then I saw the flag too. For what it's worth, man, that's a good feeling. This big speedboat come flying up with my good buddies who just screwed me over for a few days. It was kind of fun. I was sort of actually like psyched to get picked up and sh show them my little creation. Look at my little boat I made. <laughs> yeah. We have to wrap it up. Tell me your scariest moment. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kick it off with one more cameraman diary moment where he said his scariest moment uh, was ra seeing rats, which we didn't see in the show. He said rats ran across Terry while he was sleeping. Yeah. He said, ugh, I had one in my tent. Expletive, expletive, awful. Hard to sleep when you're dreaming of rodents eating your face. Oh. Yeah, that did. Yeah, they were that, on that island. There were uh, several little rats. Uh, you know, they were in my, they were in my, uh, the 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 shelter I made with the with the parachute. And also the last night, I didn't sleep under into the parachute because I had cut it up. I was basically used it, and they were running across my head. And basically, I was just laughing about it, kind of talking to them. I was like, "You bastards! You're lucky that I don't. <laughs> you're lucky that I'm not Tom Moore or 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 uh, or Matt Graham because you'd be dinner right now." Best and worst moment, Jake. Best or worst moment for Terry's episode. The best moment definitely was seeing his face in the elevator like he had gotten away from us. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then the, wor the worst moment was having to look at his face all shriveled up in the boat, getting ready to break down in, in hypothermia. So I didn't like that, but the best one was him thinking he got away only to be in a trap. Yeah. Okay, John, yours. The worst moment, because sea survival is probably the hardest place you can survive, and it's the one thing that won't ever throw bacon sandwiches at you. It's, uh, 45 minutes in, Terry's on the borderline of hypothermia. It just yeah. proves how fierce that place is. Best moment was the opposite when he set fire to the island. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Matt, how about yours, best and worst? I think the worst moment was when he was falling out of the airplane, and he, he said, you guys suck. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, that was my best moment too. <laughs> right on, man. Uh, best moment. Best moment was watching Terry exit the aircraft. It brought back memories from uh, the old Airborne Brotherhood. I thought that was pretty cool. Airborne, hit you My worst one was seeing poor Terry freezing to death at night. I really yeah. felt bad for him out there. Yeah. Sorry, we have to wrap it up, but we will pick it up from here next week when it's Matt's turn to be captured. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't make it, Julie. Really. Paul oh, in the jungle in his flip-flops. Yeah, uh -oh. <laughs> And this is an episode we affectionately call Green Hell.
That was oh. a good one. That was a good will one. Will he survive? Yeah. Or will Mark. the jungle eat him alive? <laughs> You'll have I to watch and it. find out. Nice talking to you. Nice talking to all of you again. Julie, nice to talk to you. Yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah. Hate to, I hate to say it, but I actually miss you dicks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, Likewise. You Thanks, you guys. Terry, Jake, Matt, John, Tom, everyone at Discovery, Animal Planet, High Noon. Watch a brand new episode of Dude, You're Screwed next week, Sunday, 10, 9 central, and find us afterward at discovery.com for another behind-the-scenes online chat with the dudes. I'm Julie Mike Eagle, signing <laughs> off. Hey, boys, I'll see you yeah, all later, you later, okay, man? Nice God bless. Yeah, 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 see you, boys, take. Yep. Have fun, take man. Care. Oi.